Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Unusual Findings, where I am completely stuck. Um, I feel like we've got to do something with this this magnet, this huge magnet here, um, with the electricity, seeing as this warning sign is here. We've tried talking to this guy over here, this soldier. We can't seem to do anything, but I'm guessing we're going to have to get past him. And to be honest, I have no idea of what I need to do. Um, Daredevil was asked if we connected the cable to the magnet rather than to this, and I don't know. Connecting that with the cable will not help. Uh, doesn't work. This has got to be something that we're missing. Um, I don't know what it would be. We tried using every single item that we have on this guy to see if we could get him to shoot at this thing. Because um, his, his, his laser fire seems to come like down around here, so I was thinking if we can get him to accidentally shoot this or something, maybe it will like link up with this because of the electricity sign. Apparently that's not a thing. Um, well, it doesn't seem to be a thing anyway. So. I feel like really the only thing we can do now is, is just literally try every item we've got with every person that we can and see if that does anything and just see if any of these guys have got any, you know, words they can give us, any dialogue that can help us out. Um, I, I genuinely don't know. That stick doesn't fit there. And there is nothing there that fits the hole in this stick. So that... That apparently is, is not... I don't even know if we can use items with this guy because he's behind this glass. Adding sesame oil there will not help. Okay, so the sesame oil there will not help. Um, I, can, I mean, can we give him like any of this food or anything? This snack isn't going to make a change laying there. No, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know if we can actually like give this guy anything at all. This lovely scarf will not be of much help there. No, okay. I mean, is there a way of actually giving him anything? I don't think there is. I don't, I don't know. We can't open this up without, like, a fingerprint scan. Um, lab notes, substance F. I mean, we're not going to be able to give him any. Can we, like, salt I'd those? rather not. No. We're not going to be able to give him anything. Um, oh, we can maybe try talking to him and seeing if he's got any other clues he can offer us. Hello. Hi, guys. Any good news from the outside world? Not really. We're very stuck, actually. Um, why are you in prison? Let's just go Why are you in prison? Many things. But mainly for insurrection, kidnapping, thieving, sabotage, and murder. Oh, and smuggling forbidden goods. Quite a list. I always forget that one. All right. Um, so about letting you out in exchange, about letting you out in exchange for the train key. Yes. I, I just don't know if we can trust this guy. Um, do you have any information that could be helpful? This is the only thing I can think of. Do you have any information that could be helpful? Could you be more specific? Not really, no. Let me think. We don't know what we're meant to be doing. Do you know anything about on, magnets? How are we going to escape if you don't even know what you want to ask? How do we what get... What are you, kids? Well, yes, we are kids. Oh, I thought that I was on a planet of hairy pigments. Really? Yeah. What the hell are you doing with a strider? It's a long story. Do you have any helpful info? Let me think. The main elevator has a secret compartment inside. Now it's utterly destroyed. Hmm. Can you swim in lava? Nope. No. Even if we ignore the temperature and the toxicity, lava is too dense to swim in. Can you swim in lava? <laughs> of course I can. But you are alien. Who knows what kind of crazy things you do? You are not being very helpful. No, you're not. What about this piece of information? The code of one of the lockers in the lab is Latin Lover 200. Yeah, we already did that. That's a we? terrible password. But a valuable piece of information. Great. Now help me get out of here. Uh. Okay. I mean. Changing the subject. I don't. I don't really. Do you know anything? Where are you from? Do you know? What do you know about Striders? What do you know about Striders? That they are big and mean. Helpful. If they get your scent, they can track you down. Okay. They are hard to kill. And they don't like us. Why? Because we don't like them either. Okay, I mean, could the scent be a thing? Goodbye. See you later. 
sorry, my hay fever is really bad at the moment. Sorry about the sniffing. Um, I mean, we could try items, I guess, with the strider. See if that does anything. And then we could try items with the the lady over there. There was that hidden compartment he was talking about on the lift, but these guys said it was destroyed, so I don't know if, you know, that's just not a thing. Drop this stick. That stick doesn't fit there. And there is nothing there that fits the hole in this stick. I, d I don't really want to think about that, honestly. Um, do you want some sesame oil? Adding sesame oil there will not help. Oh, I mean, it might be a food choice for him. Using a rubber-coated oven mitt there isn't going to do much difference. Okay. I mean, I wonder if he, like, wants any... Oh, maybe the alien egg. I'd rather not. No. Okay, not the alien egg. Fine. Do you want this lovely scarf? It might look nice on you. Ralph, can you track this scent? Oh, okay. Maybe it is a scent thing. Where's he going? <coughs> oh, maybe there's, like, a hidden room or something something that he can get into. Okay, we have a hound. Because I think he can break down walls and things, can't he? I'm sure we've seen him do something like that. So maybe he can like break into a, an extra room we've not been to yet. <clears throat> okay, where did he go? That's the question. Ugh, some, oh, some legs. So did we actually like search this? There's <gasps> nothing left in oh. his pockets. <sighs> what a shame. Uh, I actually thought that was going to work then. I was going to say, maybe that was what we've missed all along. Um, we can't get in here. We know, like, the code or whatever, but we can't get in. Because the captain guy told us. I wonder if he's come in here, to where this guy is. No. I mean, he definitely went that way, like he was going <coughs> into the main facility, right? Um, computer room, doesn't look like he's in here, maybe he's making a call to the, uh, this table. the admiral or whatever, I, I, one of my bugbears about this game, I actually really like this game, the, the clicking thing is very annoying that there's like things in the path of where you would click to move, that is a little bit annoying, uh, botany lab, is he in here grabbing a snack, again I'm guessing probably not, uh, the geology lab. <gasps> oh my god! Yes! Oh wow, he's like... I guess he's come in here and killed that thing. This is what is left of the alien soldier. Where is his weapon? Nowhere. No weapon, no corpse, just this blue blood. So, he came in here and killed this guy, so maybe I was just completely making stuff up here. <laughs> it's just... May maybe this wasn't the solution at all then. It's, it's just this sign put this idea that, like, if you zap that, it's gonna do something. But I guess we actually just needed to take that scarf to Ralph. Ah, no wonder we couldn't do this. What's all this? Floating bronze pyramid, floating plated pyramid, blue liquid. Let's have a look at these. This metal pyramid is hovering in some kind of magnetic field. It has an inscription carved into it. It reads, Enhanced Bronze 32. Enhanced Bronze 32. This metal pyramid is hovering in some kind of magnetic field. It has an inscription carved into it. It reads, Enhanced Zinc 03. Enhanced Zinc 03. I wonder if these, like, numbers are going to be important to so got. Like this different... metal pyramid is hovering in some kind of magnetic field. Maybe another code? It has an inscription carved into it. It reads, Enhanced Gold 23. Can we, like, take any of these things? It's floating like a feather, yet I can't move it an inch. Okay, we can't. Can we get this thing now, finally? It's a flask full of some liquid. It's highly corrosive acid. How do you know that? It says it on the label. <laughs> Can we take the acid? Let's take that. Uh, That's highly corrosive acid. The container seems feeble, and it doesn't even have a lid. If that thing spills while you're walking, most likely you'll end up injured or dead. Okay. I don't think it's a good idea to go around carrying that thing. Point taken. Let's leave that where it All is. Alright, maybe we've got to bring something to it then, rather than the other way around. Oh, that is disgusting. 
This thing just got like obliterated. I kind of feel bad. Like, like I didn't want to explode him. I just wanted to knock it's him out. It's splattered all around. Can we get into any of these lockers? Are they? They are closed. There's no way I can open this. No. <sighs> okay. Well, if you get me a lockpick set. Yeah, we've heard about the lockpick set. See, this is what I mean. Like, it's you see how this is all like you've got to click specifically here. It's a bit irritating. Uh, we looked at this before, didn't we? This is where we got one. The, keep the laboratory the code. Clean. Two. If any progress is made, call headquarters immediately. Four two four. Yeah. Three. Use your safety gear at all times. Okay. We don't have any of that. Four. Keep the laboratory clean. Yes. Again. This clean, apart from this. An air duct. Another air duct. I wonder if we can get in there. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. It's screwed to the wall. I can't open it with my bare hands. Okay. So if it's screwed to the wall, can we use our little wrench thing? We can! Nice! Alright, we're on a bit of a roll now, finally, after a few episodes of really struggling. We've managed to do two things. Cool. Now we can get in! Do we have to? I guess so. Could be our ticket out of here. Yeah, it might lead to the surface. You lead the way then. Although, we do have all those things we're meant to be doing, so I'm guessing it doesn't. Oh, to the kitchen! Oh, is this the other side of the door? Humongous cabbage. Oh, this place is filthy. There's a robot and a fridge and a copper spoon. Big bags. Alright, let's uh, let's look at this humongous cabbage. This cabbage is stupidly big. It is. Can we... Why would someone want a cabbage this big? I mean... I don't know. To make a lot of soup? Yeah, I mean, think how few cabbages you'd have to grow. This thing is too big to carry around. Can't we... Can we cut a little bit off of it or something? We don't have anything sharp. Alright, <clears throat> let's look at this robot. A chef robot. Or something like that. I guess he's not related to Ralph. It, it looks more like a robot robot than a living robot. Yeah. Can we, uh, talk to it? Hello? The Chef Tonic 2000 <laughs> salutes you. Please enter your authorization call to proceed. Oh, um... The, is this what the guy gave us? Was it this one? Clock to Parada Nicto? Invalid authorization What code. code did he give us? I can't actually remember. Hello? Maybe we have to go back to him. The Chef Tonic 2000. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... Codes? codes? What codes? What codes? Invalid authorization code. <sighs> okay, well we've got the door here. Can we open the fridge? The fridge is locked. Oh, it's locked. Okay. I know the feeling. My mom also locked the fridge with a padlock. I don't blame her. You eat like you're at a buffet. Yeah. Um, got a copper spoon and a big pot. Let's have a look at these. It's a big copper spoon. Big copper spoon. I don't know what they were thinking. Copper is an excellent conductor of heat. This spoon could burn oh. the hand of the chef. I the chef if... is a robot and they are aliens. Just go with the flow. Maybe we're going to have to use that to conduct some heat then. Now we have a big copper spoon. Yes, we do. Okay. This huge cooking pot is empty. Can... Oh, it's empty. Can we take the pot It's then? too big and impractical to carry around. All right, so maybe we're going to have to put something in there. Big bags? Big bags of flour or something like that. The bags don't have any labels. Okay, can we get anything out of them? These bags are pretty resistant. No way I can open them without a knife or scissors. Alright, so we're gonna need a knife or scissors to get in there. Um, and we don't actually have anything like that. I mean, unless this weird mop stick is gonna work. I that stick it. doesn't fit there. And there is nothing there that fits the hole in this stick. Okay, fine. Um, can we open this door now so we can just get in here without... It's locked. But... Yes, I can open it from here. Nice, okay, so we can just come back into here then. Yay, okay, we don't have to go through the vent, which is great. Um, Alright, let's go back to the, the thingy room. The conference room. We'll try ringing this guy and seeing if we can get the code again. Uh, talk to the intercom. 
Was I it? will call headquarters. Okay, yeah, it's 44, wasn't it? We just saw it, but it remembers it. Hello. Are you ready to surrender? Um, demands. We will <laughs> Let's just skip this. We want something to eat. We will I would like a pet. There's a kitchen on that same level with a chef robot Okay, on it. here we go. Its access code is IDKFA. Okay, IDKFA. Feel free to ask the... Now that my... Go Open the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we're not going to do that. Bye. Goodbye. IDKFA. Okay, so that actually was one of the options, wasn't it? Um, <coughs> but I didn't click it. Because I didn't think that was the code. But it apparently was the code. Alright, Mr. Robot. Hello? The death of yeah, the code. IDKFA. IDKFA. Valid authorization code. Nice. No personal updates to the Tiftronic 2000 database. How may I help you? Uh, I don't actually know. We've got all this to do. But I tell you what, guys, we're out of time. Goodbye. So we will speak Goodbye. with the robot have a nice day. and see what it can do in the next episode. We have finally got past that bit. Wow. Um, that took bloody ages. But as is always the case if you brute force the puzzle by just using every item on every person usually at some point something works um I'm not proud of it because obviously i didn't figure out how to solve that puzzle but we're past it so we can crack on so as always thank you very much for watching a big thank you to my patrons arcades games wayne nate Terminally nerdy paul from the phantom fellows lyle barry aldridge hobo numinous kumadin paul leone flossy the sheep john Con 555 chrissy paul james and tjg66 and i'll see you next time